Hello students, today we will discuss internal rate of return method IRR. In the last class we discussed net present value method like present value method, internal rate of return method is also used for the evaluation of capital investment proposals. This method also considers time value of money for the analysis. So, the internal rate of return is a cash flow technique which gives the rate of return I earned by a project. We know that the net present value equation NPV is equal to future value into 1 plus I raise to minus N where I is the rate of return and N is the number of years. Therefore, the net present value of the project is equal to this one. Fe into 1 plus I raise to minus N minus initial investment. So, using this equation, we can say that the internal rate of return is the discounting rate at which the net present value of the project. Net present value of the project is equal to 0. Or in other words, we can say that it is the rate of return at which the cash outflows, that is initial investment and present value of inflows are equal. Net effect, net present value of project is equal to zero. So, our aim is to find out the value of I such that net present value of the project is equal to zero or present value of inflows and initial investment are equal. There is no analytical method available to obtain the internal rate of return, I. So, we have to use trial and error method to find out the internal rate of return. So, now we can use an example to understand internal rate of return method. The question is, the cash flow of an energy saving project with a capital investment cost of rupees 30,000 is given in the table below. Find the internal rate of return of the project. Here cash flow. First assume internal rate of return as 8%. Using this I we have to find out the net present value of each year. So, net present value is equal to future value into 1 plus I raise to minus N. So, in the first year, the future value is 7000 and I is 8 percentage assumed that is 0 0.08 and N is 1. So, the net present value of first year is 6481. Similarly, in the second year, F is 7000, I is 0 0.08 and N is 2. It is 6001. Similarly, in the third year, it is 5556. Fourth year, 5145. Fifth year, 4000. 764. Sixth year, it is 4411. So, the total sum of these present values are 32,358. Therefore, the net present value of the project with the Internal rate of return 8 percentage is equal to present value. Sum of present values 32,358 minus capital investment cost 30,000. Is 2,358. But in case of internal rate of return method. The rate of return is such that 
if the net present value of the project becomes zero. Here it is not zero, positive value. So we have to assume another internal rate of return. So second one is assume that internal rate of return is equal to 16 percentage. Therefore, i is equal to 0.16. So, in the first year, f is 7000, i is 0.16, n is 1. So, the present value is 6034. Similarly, during the second year, it is 5202. During the third year, it is 4,484 and during the fourth year it is 3,866, fifth year 3,332, sixth year 2,873. So the sum of net present value is 25,791. Therefore, net present value of the project with an internal rate of return i is equal to 60 percentage is equal to sum of net present value 25,791 minus capital investment cost 30,000 is equal to minus 4,209. So, here the net present value of the project is negative with the 60 percentage rate of return and here the net present value of the project is positive with the 8 percentage rate of return. It can be clearly seen that the discount rate or the internal rate of return I which results the net present value of the project being zero lies somewhere between 8 percentage and 16 percentage. So our next aim is to find out the exact value of internal rate of return. So for that we can use this equation internal rate of internal rate of return is equal to PDR plus NDR minus PDR into positive NPV divided by positive NPV minus negative NPV the whole into 100 where PDR is the internal rate of return or discount rate which gives positive net present value. Here it is 8 percentage or 0 0.08 plus and NDR is the discount rate which gives negative net present value. Here it is 0.16 or 16 percentage. 0.16 minus PDR is 0 0.08 into positive net present value. Here positive net present value of the project is 2358 divided by positive net present value of the project. 2358 minus negative net present value of the project. It is minus 4209. So minus minus plus 4209. The whole into 100. We will get 0.1087 into 100 which is equal to 10.87 percentage. Thus, we can say that the internal rate of return for the project is 10.87%.
10.87%. Thank you.